Hello, hello, my beautiful friends, and happy whatever day it is that you're watching this. If you're watching it when I record it, today is Wednesday. Happy April 1st. The sun is shining. What a beautiful gift. And today's message of what's coming through, and I've talked about this many times before, but it's coming through loud and clear, especially right now as we are all in isolation. Tennessee just went into shelter in place, so we are locked in. We are here, we are home, and we're getting a little bit antsy and we're getting a little bit of that cabin fever, right? Wherever you are in the world here in, in the States, um, spring is coming, things are blooming, the sun is shining, the rain is going away, the snow is melting, and we're naturally wanting to come out into this, I mean, it is also airy season, so we're wanting to come into action and go, and we're, want, we're getting this like kind of itchiness of like, I need to get out. And while I wish that it was as easy as saying, yeah, just go get out of the house, go do you, stay inside, be safe, own your part, and take responsibility. So that being said, what can we do to activate and to awaken this motivation, this energy, this magic in the cells of our beings if we can't go outside? And especially for my extroverts, especially for those who feed off of other people's energy, one of the things that we can start to play with and that we can start to do, and this is one of many, so this is just one outlook that is coming through for me to share with you today. Of course, being in gratitude. Gratitude is one of the best ways to raise your vibration and get in the frequency of really just light and love and goodness and peace and also pleasure. And that is what is coming through loud and clear. How are you accessing and tuning into pleasure in the simplest of ways right now. Now, of course, this can be very literal. Most people think sexual pleasure. So your orgasms, your masturbation, your partner play, your, you know, just even touching yourself and being in your body and feeling how good it feels to be touched, to be seen, to be desired, even if it's not with a partner, by yourself. Notice how that pleasure lights you up and it's almost like it activates something in us. It's this, it's this birth of our sensuality, our femininity, our magic, our power, our creativity. Now, you can also look at this in ways of the way that the wine tastes. Instead of just slamming the glass of wine, feel the way it like tickles every taste bud and it hits your lips. Notice how the whipped cream on your coffee just sends that little extra like mm, goodness into your body as you sip it. Notice the littlest of ways. It doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be crazy, it's teeny tiny ways. The reason that I'm sharing this, especially when we're getting that cabin fever and we're in this season of isolation and slowing down, is because this will awaken and bring that aliveness back to the cells of your very being. Just as water hydrates us in the feminine, pleasure hydrates us. It nourishes us. It awakens us in every single way. And so just starting to notice the slowing down enough to be present with the pleasure and be intentional about how you're caring for yourself, touching yourself, loving yourself, being with yourself and welcoming in that pleasure with open arms, notice what starts to shift. It brings a sense of hydration and nourishment and aliveness that I'm excited for you to experience. And then notice how that affects your relationship, your business, your bank account, your impact, these different pieces, and let me know. And if you're having maybe a bad day or a rough day, I don't like the word good and bad, but sometimes it just feels like, fuck, this is just an off day, this is just a bad day. I can't access that, I feel so much grief, I feel so much pain. Notice how you can experience both at once. It doesn't have to be all pleasure and joy and aliveness and goodness or all pain and suffering and challenge. Notice how you can hold both. It's a muscle, it's a skill. I'm continuing to practice it, just ask my mentors. I'm working on it with you. But notice how you can play with both. And then let me know how it goes. So I'm sending you guys so much love. We're gonna get through this together. Play with pleasure today and see what it does.